Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts to start this week's insight. Chinese suppliers are reporting a shortage on all sole raw material. This could affect sole pricing in the North American markets come February. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency has agreed to adopt the IUU, which is the Illegal, Unreported and Unregula Unregulated Fisheries Program. This program is designed to eliminate illegal fisheries and the plan is to implement very soon. This will have strong implications on imported seafood inventories. More to come on this in future reports. In the news this week, despite additional supply, the Atlantic mackerel is holding steady. Due to the northerly shift in the distribution of northeast Atlantic mackerel, the increased supply is coming primarily from Iceland and the Faroe Islands. This year, European countries caught just 73% of Atlantic mackerel. Iceland typically sells the majority of their catch to fish meal producers, but this year they sold over 60% for human consumption, primarily to Russia. A similar trend is noticed in the Faroe Islands, who, whose aim is to sell 100% of their fish for human consumption this year. Despite the added competition, European companies still managed to increase their sales this year. So where is all this added supply going? The answer is both in booming demand as well as reduced supply of Pacific jack mackerel. Jack mackerel quotas have been on the decline for the last few years and reached a new low this year. In addition, growing demand in Russia, Eastern Europe and Africa is apparent. Western African countries purchase large amounts of Norwegian mackerel early in the season, effectively absorbing much of the supply and preventing prices from collapsing. Looking forward, the European quota is set to increase by 17% in 2011. If Iceland and the Faroe Islands keep selling for human consumption, then prices may fall in 2011. A further risk is that if Iceland and the Faroe Islands fail to come to an agreement with Europe on quotas, the Marine Stewardship Council may revoke certification. MSC has set a deadline for the end of 2011 for, int for international agreements to be met. In other news, the 2011 quota for Barron Sea Capelin is up 5.5% over last year. Over 70% of this quota is allotted to Iceland and the remainder to Norway, Greenland and the Faroe Islands. The quota is a welcome increase as Capelin stocks have been at a low level over the last five years. Fisheries management authorities only allow fishing Capelin when the spawning stock exceeds 200,000 tons which has happened only 11 times in the last 25 years. Demand for Capelin remains strong, in particular within the Japanese market, where Capelin Row is a hot item. However, the Capelin and Row markets fluctuate considerably due to the unstable supply. The Marine Fisheries Institute will reevaluate stocks in the new year and may recommend a larger quota at that time. Until then, the market is unpredictable. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight this is Robert Ryerson, buy smart and eat more seafood.